Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Beard Cat Guitar Plus. <laughs> um, so I've been watching a lot of YouTube. That's all I do is watch YouTube. Uh, and uh, something, I guess, now with this generation of uh, like this new generation of punker kids, um, they've been posting a lot of videos on YouTube of like their wardrobes and their gear and how they make their own patches and how they do all this random stuff and I guess their outlooks on some things. I don't know. We didn't have that in my time. We had go to local skate shop store and get a flyer for a concert and go jump in a pit. <laughs> that was what we had. Oh yeah, I'm old now so I have my own house and I can do posters in my living room. <laughs> yeah, that's super adult. So I figured I would do a video of my old gear because I found, hey, my dog. Um, I found a box with some of my, like my old jacket, some of my old shirts, some of my old pants. I'm hoping there's another box with uh, some more stuff, like some more posters, because I have a couple good autographed ones, Dead Kennedys, Addicts. I don't know, I forgot the rest. Um, old flyers too, like shows. So, let's do this, shall we? Let's uh, start with my jacket. I have that thrown down on my couch. I'm just gonna show you on the couch. Um, and there we go. Here's the front. You can faintly see it, casualties, global threat, TSOL. Black flag, virus, unseen, germs, some random little Germany flag, I don't know why. Uh, attics are hidden down here under my armpit. Ooh, excuse me. Big iron cross for some reason. Oz rotten. Um, what does this say? Oh, weird. Um, exploited, lower class brats, Ramones. Bunch of cone studs. These are the only studs I like. I don't like those square ones. Or the big spikes. So there's that. My old uh, stomper jacket. Here is an old vest. Crass, lower class brats, bunch of cone studs. And they all look clean because I just took them out of the washer the other day. Because they were all in my garage. And inside my garage smells like, uh, I don't know, gas, because I, I have two of my motorcycles in there, and underneath them they have uh, two full oil pans full of just gas and oil and whatnot, so everything in there smells like that. And these, I brought them inside, my lady's like, oh, that smells like crap. <laughs> so I, uh, I washed them. So everything looks shiny. I mean, I think I lost a... Uh, couple in there but you know what these have been on here for like 20 years almost god it's been it's been like that long since i've been out of the scene i mean i'm 30 now i got fat so i stopped wearing all my skinnies when like when i was like what 20 20 ish 21 maybe i don't know Stopped then, so yeah, I've been out of it for a while. But I still kept everything because I am nothing but nostalgic and I want to keep all of my crap. Lower class brats, minor threat, some more studs. Um, oh yeah, on the front of this, the black one, I've got Exploited, Oz Rotten. I love Oz Rotten. Random safety pin because, you know, safety pins were the in thing. Oh yeah, and I put a lot of... Uh, Fuzzy leopard print on a lot of my stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's just what I did. All right. Found a couple of my old uh, tank tops. Well, shirts that converted in tank tops. This was one of my most worn ones. You can see all these holes. So many holes everywhere. This thing's like completely torn apart. I mean... Dang it. There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah, like just a ton. T 
ton of holes. Here's the back. The back has a lot more. This, these holes. I never used to tear holes myself. I know people do that. They like file down the knees and try to make them look like they're all beat up. I got shirts, and I went to shows. You go to shows, you're gonna be bumping. You're gonna be pushing up against people, getting punched, getting your crap torn up. You're getting piercings ripped out and stuff, but you know what? Heat of the moment. Fun times. All this crap is from shows. Uh, subhumans. Same, not quite as torn, but still quite a bit of holes from shows and stuff. <laughs> this one was too short, so I took a, some more shirt fabric and I lengthened it. And if you can't tell, dental floss. Dental floss is what we used back in the day and I think uh, a lot of people still do that because it's a lot more a lot sturdier and whatnot well here is my old uh, hoodie got a Ramones up there a couple fuzzy pockets that I put in the inside on the back what do you know that's my dog in the background same exact subhumans patch but this is a patch that's a shirt this is a real patch too. It's not torn off of a shirt or anything like that. Um, here's, all right, and we're on my skinnies now. Uh, some uh, leopard print skinnies. These ones are really high in the crotch, so that was not very comfortable, but hey, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> um, my mom actually got me these, and uh, I was so stoked, because <laughs> Um, we had a shop we used to go to, it was called Black Wax back in San Diego, and it was like a skate shop, record shop for local outcast punker kids. And they sold stuff like these, these pants and all that, and I was like, Mom, I really want these, blah, 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 would you mind, can you please get them? She's like, no, you're not going to wear those, blah, 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 blah. What do you know, she surprised me with them later on for a gift, and uh, it was funny. When uh, I was asking her about those, I was like, alright, well then can we just get like two patches, because they sold patches there, and... I think I got one was a uh, one that was on here this pair of pants I think it was might have been Ramon's one or it was a uh, I don't know this other one one of them was a uh, like clip 45 they're good man um, oh well I'm rambling here's another pair of skinnies zippers all over the place random uh, things here I don't know where I got these because they already had little hoop hoops and stuff random patch what is this patch all or nothing um, another pair of skinnies these ones were ridiculous like they got so small on me like I started adding fabric to them so my butt wasn't hanging out they started out they didn't even have pockets they put little pockets on them back then I didn't have a giant phone that I was carrying so all I needed was a pocket for my cigarettes and that was it another pair of skinnies Anger blue. and if you can't tell most of these are girls pants because girls pants are so much easier to tighten because they're already usually bell bottomed tight down the thighs and then you just have to tighten from the knee down another pocket and here's the only pair of uh patch pants i can find you know there's a huge thing everyone's like oh there's a difference between crusty pants and patch pants and this and that and i guess i don't no, I just used to put band patches on my pants and my clothes because I supported freaking music. I supported, I supported the bands, you know? People would ask me questions. Oh, what's that? That's this band. Here, check them out. Go to a show. Buy some uh, merch. So, call these pants what you want. They got too small, so I cut them and put a thing there to widen it. That was my wonderful idea. Clearly I didn't patch up all the holes. This goes directly in. GBH, Horror Pops, Casualties, Unseen, Blitz. This was the other one that uh, I think my mom got me. Exploited, Bad Brains. Gotta listen to Bad Brains if you don't know who they are. But Vandals, Ramones, US Bombs, TSOL, Exploited. What was that, Nausea? Rancid. Seven seconds. Agent Orange. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so that's that's majority of my clothes, my old punker clothes. I'm gonna try to find some more and uh, all that. I'm working on a 
I have a pair of pants right now that I tightened for the first time. I was the first time tightening a pair of pants in, um, like, I don't know. What did I say before? What, 10 years maybe? I don't know, it's been a long time, but you know what? I tightened this one pair of blue jeans and they're so much more comfortable. Like I've never been comfortable in like regular slacks and all that, you know, it's, I've always been comfortable in skinny jeans, patches and all kinds of unnecessary crap. So yeah, let me uh, know what you think. I mean, this was just a fun video just to kind of get out there. My stuff that I still have at 30 years old and all that. So yeah, no, let me know uh, what you think. Let me know what you have. Let me know what you're rocking. Um, and yeah, I don't know. You want any uh, little tips and tricks on uh, good ways of getting studs put in properly or not properly, but just in a way to where they're good. You want uh, tips and tricks on how to paint your jackets, how to tighten pants, how to sew patches on where they stay after going to 100 shows. Just uh, let me know. I'd uh, love to chat and love uh, hear what you guys and gals have to say and see what you got, what you're uh, into. Let me know if you've uh, an old timer like me just uh, getting back into the scene or something like that or if you're younger and you're just now getting into it and just new to all of it you know that's the coolest feeling in the world <laughs> going to shows right now corona is going on so shows aren't going on but heck i think last show i went to what was it maybe an anti-flag show or something or casualties mm, maybe um flogging molly i don't know i don't remember see depressing it's been so long <laughs> all right well uh let me know what you think and uh have a good one